Okay, hello guys. So this is the Galaxy A05, and in this video, I will show you how to route this phone using any stock firmware. And in here, I am using the latest security patch, October 1, 2023, on Android 13, one UI Core version 5.1. Okay. So all the file and step I will provide in my blog. You can check in the description box. Okay. If you have any questions, feel free to ask on the comment section. I will try to make it simple and straightforward. If you have any question, you can ask of on the comment section. If I have any time, <coughs> I will try to answer it. Okay, so stay tuned and check it out. Okay, hello guys, Assalamualaikum, we we'll again with Ombop and now in my hand I have the new Galaxy Pond, this is the Galaxy A05 and today I'm going to show you how to route this pond. Okay, the first thing you need to do is check the setting system, oh, let's go to the settings right here about pond and you can see right here. <coughs> Uh, the name of the phone is Galaxy A05 and the model name is A055F Okay, now let's go to the show for information You can see right here it's using Android 13 on One UI Core version 5.1 <coughs> And the Android security patch level is October 1, 2023 Okay uh, The important thing you need to notice is the build number okay you can see right here the build number is a055x <clears throat> that's sorry i mean a055fx xxu2 okay uh behind u is 2 2 is binary so you must have the binary to stock from where to use it okay if you have the same firmware like ad you can simply use the boot image and pp meta that i provide before if not if you come from different region simply just download the stock firmware i will show you where to download it okay so you must <clears throat> i must remember the region is indonesian and the build number is xxu a w k1 okay this one okay and next maybe you want to know the specs let's go to the dev check right here you can see right here the code name uh, manufacturer date and other stuff and i want to see in here uh, you can see right here it's using 12 manometer using media technology 85 64 bits and the clock frequency is between 500 and 2 gigahertz okay. <clears throat> and the ram takes about 2.5 2 gigabyte from total 6 and the storage take about 26 gigabyte from total uh, 128 okay and nice now let's go to the settings again from here you need to go to the about phone right here uh, so for information and we need to enable the developer option <clears> hey, <throat> okay, developer option can be enabled by hit the build number five times and then go back again. Go to the developer option and in here you need to find the OM unlock. Okay, just turn it on and enable it. Okay, that's all. Uh, this is needed to unlock bootloader and later we need to boot to unlock the bootloader again using the computer. Okay, uh, <clears throat> now let's switch to the computer. I want to copy some file, and in here, you can see I already have the stock firmware. This is the the name of the code name is same like we see in the settings. Okay, xx2 awk1. Okay, this is the one, and you can find it on the Sam fw.com okay simply just type the code name like this uh, for example 
want to find my stock firmware just type in the a055x okay galaxy a05 scroll down find your region and in my case i am using the samsung indonesian okay and <clears throat> here we go okay this is my stock firmware you can see this is kind of new it is just it is just have to stock firmware okay if you got an old one there will be lots of stock firmware okay just download it and it will in show you in the zip file okay and simply just extract to a folder like this okay <clears throat> and next you will see bunch of stuff yeah, I will remove the unnecessary, unnecessary ones first okay you will see the APBL, CP and other stuff the most important thing is the AP okay just let's open it and in here we can see several files okay so we'll just need uh, extract some file okay the first thing I want to open the boot mg.lg4 okay just open it and extract the boot image and then go to the VB meta and also extract the image okay so we get the boot image and the VB meta okay just now copy the path right here <coughs> and paste okay we want to compress the two file into the tor image so select the two file let's right, click 7 zip at to archive and let's change it into the tar format okay now you will get a tar image that contain the boot and vb meta <clears> hey <throat> okay. okay just for information i'm using the 7 zip uh 7 zip uh, is version where is it uh 1.9 r1 okay i will also include this zip file if you need it okay <clears throat> and next step let's copy this file and paste it into the internal storage because we need to patch the file okay and next we need to copy the magis apk okay i'm going to use the magis upper right here and let's paste it okay feel free to use uh, alpha delta or the official one okay from here now we go back to the pawn okay now we're back and let's find the file manager or my file and if you get to a folder where you copy the file okay put it into the comment folder and install the magis apk Okay, we are using the alpha mage right here. If you're using the delta and the official step is uh, is the same. And now let's open it. Okay, this is just an APK. You can see right here we haven't installed yet. Okay. Now let's go to the install, select and patch file, and if you get where you have your boot uh, tar image, <coughs> okay. I put it into the document folder and this is the file okay galaxy a05.tar okay hit let's go and it will start patching the file when it finishes it will put the file into the download folder okay and here we go we already finished from here we ne you need to copy the file into your computer and do the unlock boot order okay so from here let's navigate to the internal storage and go to the download folder you can see right here now there is a new file uh, the name is magis underscore pads dash blah 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 okay let's, let's just copy this one it's already pads and from here now we can turn off our pawn okay because we want to do the unlock put order 
Okay, now the unlock bootloader process. Okay, make sure you already turn off your phone. And before I already enable the OM unlock. Okay, it is important, don't forget. And now uh, you need to press the two button, follow me down and follow me up at the same time, and then plug the uh, USB cable. Okay, let's try it. Okay, just this hold the two button about five seconds and you will get this warning. Uh just okay from here we need to do the unlock bootloader, so we need to uh long press the flow map okay about uh five seconds maybe okay one two three four okay now there is under the confirmation unlock put other and from here we just need to press the follow up once okay it will start the unlock put other process and it will wipe the internal storage <clears throat> okay it should wait until it goes to the stock recovery formatting the data like this and now press the flow up and flow it down one more time Okay, still long press the two button and from here just press follow up once okay now you're good to go and from here let's <clears throat> switch again to the computer okay now from here let's open Odin I'm using the Odin uh, the last version 3.14 and navigate to a folder where you have the magic pad okay let's copy the pad right here go to the option tab uncheck auto reboot hit the ap button paste the pad and select the magic pad we, where we have before okay from here let's hit start it just takes several seconds and pass okay when you see this uh green screen it means that we're already done okay now let's switch again okay now from here we need to go to the custom recovery uh, sorry the stock recovery again okay you can press the follow -up, uh, up sorry the follow -up down and the power button for about five seconds okay and when the pawn reboot it quickly press the follow up while still pressing the power button okay let's wait okay now i'm pressing the follow up and the power button maybe for the first time you will fail uh, you should try several times okay sometime it can be quite tricky and now we are in the stock recovery you can navigate using follow up follow down and execute using the power button okay let's scroll down select wipe cache partition and select the power button select yes and then wipe data and factory set <clears throat> okay so to go to the stock re recovery I, ha I have to try several times <laughs> but eventually it works okay and uh maybe some of you guys will ask why we need to format again because sometimes it will fail and it should format the data okay you should wait and it goes to the home screen we will continue the video again okay now we are in the home screen okay from here you can see we don't have any images apk so you can manually copy the mage apk to the internal storage and install the apps okay now let's find uh, my file internal storage and i put it into the apk folder right here okay so let's install the mages <clears throat> give it permission to my files and install it okay okay now this is important 
after you after you boot it into the home screen make sure to connect to the internet using the wi-fi or sim card at least one minute okay <clears throat> uh we need it because we need the pawn to enable the om unlock okay if not it will get boot loop okay so make sure connect the internet at least one minute okay now let's open the maze apk and as usual require a single setup just hit ok it will boot in five seconds okay <clears throat> okay now we are in the home screen again and i have installed several apps okay such as the root beer advanced root checker and dev check again okay let's open it <clears throat> and <clears throat> now you can see right here we have successfully installed mages okay so now let's open the using the root beer okay root beer will show us that the sub binary already installed okay root it nice and advanced root checker it will detect the root management bc box and other stuff okay very nice <clears throat> so if you need to hide from several apps that read root access you can simply enable the uh, segis and install module okay modules such as the <clears throat> samico safety net and elpos okay that's all guys i hope it helps you this is tutorial on how to root your galaxy a05 on any stock chrome okay <clears throat> All the file and step I will provide in my blog. You can check the link in the description box. If you feel have any question, feel free in the comment section. If I have time, I will try to answer it. Okay. So that's all. See you in the next video. Take care and wassalamualaikum.